it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. If one die, we all die. This is the message of Shug Knight, who was the Diddy of Death Row Records. However, we all know that there has been a lot of bad blood between Diddy and Shug, so his message rings more of a threat than an advice. I tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret? The thing is, Shug actually gave a few pointers to the authorities that could potentially be the end of the Diddy era. The word has it that Shug will not shy away from handing concrete evidence to the feds that could have detrimental effects on Diddy's career going forward. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so it's no secret that the East Coast-West Coast feud has been the longest and the nastiest running feud of all time. Yes, we said running, because apparently Shug is really eager to get Diddy inside the cells, allegedly to score some points on him. We all know that Chuck has been trying to get Diddy in trouble for years. You all might remember the TMZ interview where he claimed that Diddy knew who shot Tupac, right? So anyway, Chuck just gave his two cents on the Diddy situation after the feds ransacked two of his properties, although the alleged criminal was nowhere to be found. Chuck started the conversation claiming that in these tough times, he is praying for Puffy's family as they might be going through a lot. It seems like he's being sincere about his worries, but the fans can't help but be skeptical about it as Chuck is in jail for voluntary men s. After trying hard and failing to fight his humanity case, Shug issued a threat to Sean Combs saying, I tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger. Because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys participating in? According to the convicted rapper, things are not looking good for Diddy as the feds are on his tail, observing his every move. For the record, Shug also indirectly settled the rumors about Diddy being in the elitist secret society. And if Diddy is convicted, it is likely that he would sing the secrets of the society as well. Shug was also cleverly pushed out of the alcohol business. You might not remember, but when the Cassie lawsuit came rolling around, Diddy allegedly started having problems with the liquor giant Diageo. Sometime after Diddy sued the company, claiming Diageo North America starved Com's C-Rock Vodka and Dalian Tequila brands of resources, depriving them of the same attention showered on brands linked with white celebrities. The lawsuit stated, Com's, who is black, said Diageo leaders acknowledged that his race played a role in its decision to limit distribution of his brands to urban neighborhoods, stunting sales growth as a result. The lawsuit did not end well for Diddy, as the spirit company filed a motion to dismiss Com's lawsuit by labeling the artist's claims as false and reckless and accusing him of filing the lawsuit in an effort to extract additional billions from the company. These allegations are nothing more than opportunistic attempts to garner press attention and distract the court from the fact that plaintiff's breach of contract claim is entirely without merit. And truth be told, since Diddy was in a bad position financially due to settlement of Cassie lawsuits, he lost the upper hand, causing him to lose both the partnership with Diageo and his reputation. Now with Diddy in a rough spot financially, physically and his reputation is down in the drain, so it makes sense that Sudge would try to destroy Diddy's social standing some more by associating Diddy with the bad reputation gotten by hip-hop community. Fans believe that since the things are hot, Sudge is trying to make sure his mortal enemy is never able to get back up from this fall. Sudge allegedly rubbed salt on Diddy's wounds by posting a video of Diddy insinuating that Diddy has been going crazy over the legal trouble. Please, God told me to ask y'all for help. I need your help. I need your help. I can't do it alone. I'm overwhelmed. I'm going crazy. And God, I beg you. I Although this might be an AI-generated video, Saj is certainly doing everything in his power to make Diddy look fragile. And it's pretty clear that no one wants to associate with Diddy nowadays and risk their reputation. Just some time ago, when Diddy was celebrating Biggie's 50th birthday, other celebs were raving about his alleged contributions in the hip-hop community and culture. He even claimed that he was inspired by Diddy in making several of life-changing decisions. He inspires so many of my choices. So many of my life choices, my wife choices. <laughs> and here we are, 
Thanks for that, Puff. But now that Diddy is being investigated for ST, Kanye allegedly ignored Diddy's presence at the rolling out event. It looked like Diddy wanted a word with Kanye West at an LA concert this month, but Ye ended up docking the convo, which is interesting, considering what's gone down in the bad boy mogul's world since then. Sources with direct knowledge reveal that Diddy was hanging out backstage at Rolling Loud in Los Angeles. Diddy and his entourage had rolled up to watch Ye's performance, and he told people close to Ye he wanted a face-to-face -to, -face to say what's up, personally. But Diddy's efforts were all in vain. Anyway, fans are completely skeptical of Saja's intentions because, let's face it, Saja's behind the bars for 28 years for Man S. So it is not that Saja voluntarily went in to face the music, the authorities has allegedly had him concerned. Another thing that rubs fans the wrong way is that is why Saj, who is known for his gangster lifestyle, is able to give his say about what's going on in the outside world. According to Chris Cuomo, this Diddy investigation as a whole does not smell right. The former CNN news anchor joined the hosts of the Valuetainment podcast, where he not only downplayed what he believes the bad boy CEO's fate will be, but also predicted a Rico case in Diddy's future. Cuomo explained that a Rico is a fancy way of saying they're gonna catch him for the side activities that went into the main criminal enterprise. He then forecasted that that's how they are allegedly going to come at Puffy. Cuomo broke the mechanics of the investigation, saying, you start working bottom up in an investigation like this. This is essentially a Rico case, okay? This is a racketeering case. That's what they're going to do, is get him for ancillary activities that were part of what they're going to say was a criminal enterprise. You get the little guys, they start to bubble up. You now get your subpoenas out. You get your information, your web of networks, of contacts and communication, which is a treasure trove because everybody's doing this all the time. Then you punctuate it with the things you now have an understanding, where they might be and what they might mean, and then you raid. Then you indict and or arrest. To make matters worse, Diddy might be on the losing side because the word has it that Saj allegedly has monumental evidence and he might be willing to disclose it to the feds if it meant having Diddy on the other side of the bars. Not to mention, Cassie Ventura, who was in a 10-year-long relationship with Diddy, has been helping the feds from the sideline. The source claims that Cassie has been interviewed many times over the course of the last few days. Not only Ventura, but Jane Doe's from the other two lawsuits has been contributing to the investigation as well. Ever since things went down with the law enforcement, Cassie Ventura, who reportedly welcomed destruction in Com's life with her lawsuit, was very pleased with the sudden development. In a statement, she said, We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Additionally, O'Day, who has worked alongside Diddy throughout her career as she was the front woman of the girl group Danity Kane, which was formed on the producer's reality series Making the Band 3, has spoken out. You might know, but initially, when Cassie had just filed a lawsuit, she had been brave enough to lend her support to Cassie at that time as well. This time, the singer took to social media to react to the news of the investigation against Diddy. She asserted that Diddy was essentially reaping what he sowed after he blindsided many artists and allegedly ended their career in one swoop. She also alluded that she herself had bad experiences with Diddy, but didn't have the courage to speak out about them. This is it for today. See you at the next one. Goodbye!